American? Yeah. Do you know what I hate about the Americans? Everything. Especially cowboys. <laughs> Hey, it has to do with the relationship that I have with my son, Jack, which has been a pretty contentious relationship. Jack! Dad? We catch up with Jack in Moscow. John catches wind of the fact that he's in some trouble over there, and the drama ensues. You're gonna shoot your own father? Shouldn't be here, John. It is the way of life that trouble finds John McClane. He's just attracted to it. It's okay. I'm uh, fine, thanks. John McClane's stuck in this environment, and the only person he can really turn to for help is his estranged son. Things haven't exactly been chummy for the last few years, but they have to band together and sort it out, get out of there alive. Give me your phone. It's a two-year contract and I phone. The most exciting thing to me was Wow, John McClane's finally out of the United States. We wanted an environment that was big visually, that had a lot of stuff that we hadn't seen before, and it would be very difficult for John McClane to get out of. What is Russia? They do things differently over there. Me too. We shot in Budapest, Moscow, and Chernobyl. The Chernobyl. The radioactive joint meltdown. That's the one. No one's supposed to go to Chernobyl, so we went there because it seemed like the right thing to do. Couple fresh coats of paint and a weed whacker, and it's good to go. Once you look at these elaborate shots and stunts and gags, you start to realize the breadth and the scope of it. Ultimately, I think we're up to like 55 sets total. In terms of square footage, it had to be at least 500,000 square feet. This is the, probably the biggest crew to ever visit Budapest and take over the streets. Jesus! This film comes with the big ticket items. You're seeing these incredible assault vehicles and these helicopters. Jack! Hey! The MI-26 is one of the stars of the film, in my opinion. Really? Really? Eight blades holding 45 tons and some 30,000 horsepower. I mean, there's something working up there. The action is awesome. Where else can you legally crash cars? Knock, knock big guys up and fire weapons on a daily basis. It's better than sex. <laughs> I guess you've done this before. Don't encourage him. We're making a 21st century Die Hard now. We have to have the camera in the middle of this action. And I think audiences will just be blown away. It's a big rocket. Die Hard movie. You go looking for trouble. What is it always you seem to find you? Need a hug? We're not a hugging family. Damn straight.